I made pizza dough. I divided it into three balls. And this is the first ball. This is that non-stick, me, me, me Kitchen. So you know how you have to spread the flour everywhere? So just keep it from sticking where well, you can fill it, spray a little bit, but look, it don't really stick. I'm making a calzone. <clears throat> now, I guess it depends on what shape you think it should be. But I already know I'm going to fold mine over. So I'm going to fill half of it and then fold it over. Now you can make a pizza. But my goal was making a castle. Boom. Now, can I flip it over? Prime example, this is a great board. Now I have no flour on here. So I probably could put a little flour on here, but as you can see, it lifts up and it's not an issue. Me, me kitchen. Yeah. All right, let's get ready to make our calzone. Okay, so we are back and ready to get started. I am going to use two different spoons because I don't want to cross contaminate. I got my pizza sauce and I also got my ricotta. So since I'm making a calzone, I'm only going to put the ricotta down on one side. All of it going down on one side. I don't like a lot of ricotta. So I've got to do the best that I can. I think ricotta tastes weird. <laughs> so when you're making a calzone, I don't think you want to put it on both sides. Maybe you do. This will be my first one that I'm doing. Now, if I feel like I don't have enough, then I need to get a whole nother spoon. or wash this one to stick it back in there. But ricotta isn't the main thing. That's it for what I need for the ricotta. Now they act like it don't fit on there. Just comes off easy. It's weird. All right. Then I picked up some pizza sauce. Can you get me the hamburger and the pepperoni out? I got the hamburger. Can you get the pepperoni out and the cheese? I'm going to smooth that around. I am not a come true pizza sauce fan. So I don't try to overload it with the pizza sauce if I can get away with it. All right. And then I want the mozzarella. So in Sam's, in Costco, they have the two pack. And you find them in the non-refrigerated section. You open up one, put that one in the freezer. Um, and you gotta figure out how to open it, which is syllable. So I'm gonna load me up with some pepperoni because that's what I want on mine. Now, if I had had these in the freezer, I probably would have washed them off. Which I probably should still do anyway. Because you know how sometimes when they call back say, oh, there's a recall on this and it's got this. If you had to rinse them off, it could have made all the difference in the world. But I'm sorry I didn't. A lot of people just do exactly what I'm doing anyway. Just lay it on there. Now, I did pick up some olives. Alright, so... I need some onions on my pizza. So I had to go rinse me an onion. And you know, if the onion makes you cry, add cold water to the onion. Mm. 
And I'm just gonna cut this much onion because I know that um, everybody's gonna probably wanna make their own. Cause I don't make nobody else's but mine. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna add some onion. I'm an onion fan. So when you're adding this, you could saute it. But of course, I'm just ready to get this over with. I had to go to the store. I didn't like that. All right, and now, one second. Got to cutting up green onion. Cause I want green onion on mine. So I'm gonna layer that in there. Oh, I need some Italian seasoning. I don't think I got any. And if you have garlic, this will be a good time to put the garlic in. Um, I've got garlic. I just didn't get it out the fridge. It's okay. I'm going to use a little bit of this garlic and herb seasoning. I'm going to put it over the whole thing. You look on the door for the garlic. And then I like olives. I don't know about anybody else, but I like olives. On the door at the top. Where the hot sauce is or whatever that is laying down. Oh, it's on the top top. All right. So we got some garlic to put in there now. All right. I think that's going to be enough olives. And you know, when you're doing garlic, you just smash it. Make sure you peel all the paper off. And then cut it up. And this is all I got left of my Italian herb seasoning, but I'm still going to try to put some on here. Thank you very much. All right. Now, I had cooked some hamburger the night before, or this morning. And so, I am adding little pieces of hamburger. Hey, um, I think I'm going to smoked sausage mm, okay hold on okay so the next thing is there's some smoked sausage when i looked at it i thought it said chicken but it says asian style with pork and pineapple so normally I probably wouldn't put it in there because the only pork I usually use is pepperoni and bacon. Other than that, I don't use a lot of pork. But I will because I thought this was all, this all I got. Make sure if you do this that you are messing with items that are already cooked. You don't want to put no uncooked meat on your pizza because even though it goes in the oven... It don't last that long. And it didn't taste. All right, so I'm just gonna put a few fleeces on there. I'm not a fan of that. Because when I eat sausage, I don't want it to be sweet tasting. And that's kind of sweet tasting to me. So I'm done with that. All right, next thing. I'm going to add some cheese. 
Now I'm going to have to pour it because I didn't go wash my hands. So I'm just going to pour it on there. And then add a little bit more of the seasoning. Mozzarella. Did you know that when you take all the air out and then seal it, it lasts better? Now, I don't have anything else left I need to put on here. Maybe a little bit more garlic. I got all my pepperoni on there. I got all my cheese. You think that's enough cheese? You don't know. Because we do like it cheesy. We like it cheesy. We like it cheesy. But I also like garlic, so I'm going to put that on there. If I had some peppers, I'd probably put those on there. All right, so now it's time to fold it over. So this is the hard part. So I'm giving it a little pull and then I'm gonna connect it end to end and bring it over and then flip it and make sure I push it all in. Give it a little twist at the end. Now see how easy it is to get it off of there? I love this little mini kitchen thing. This is so cool. All right, now of course there were a few things left out. So I'm just gonna gather those up, kind of sprinkle them on the top. And then I'm gonna go melt some butter. All right, so I took some butter, some garlic powder, and some parsley, mix it up, and now I'm gonna spread it on here. Remember, you don't wanna dip your stuff in there. Now if it's, just don't. Now you can do an egg wash. So now, let me show you. This is what we got. All right, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and scoop this up and put it on a pizza pan and then put it in the oven. And I will show you when it's out. All right, so see, this one's stuffed. Everybody making theirs different. All right, and there is the last one. So we have one, two, and three. And all of that out of that little dough. All right, here we go. Oh, looking good, looking good. One. Two. Three. All homemade.